Hi, I'm Dennis Moreland with Dennis Moreland Tax. And today we're at Carol Rose's beautiful place in Gainesville, Texas. And we're gonna visit with Sam Rose, horseman. He's shown cutters, cow horses, rope horses. Sam, I see the snaffle is hanging just below the corners of his mouth. Tell us how you set a snaffle in the horse's mouth. The, uh, the snaffle, if you put a colt in a snaffle for the first time, and we always rode our horses with a break-in hackamore, yes. then we'd go to the snaffle. And, uh, but the first time or two, those horses are gonna use their tongue a lot. And if you don't pull it up, they're gonna get their tongue over the, over the mouthpiece. So as it goes along, uh, I always leave those snaffles about this, oh, just to, just where there's, they're, they're not against them. And right. those horses will pick that snaffle up. They'll learn to pick it up. And uh, the, 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 the higher you pull that snaffle up and the longer it's on a horse, the number of those horses get. Yes. And those horses have to uh, find a safe zone for them. In, in, in my mind, they have to be comfortable with the bit to where they're not intimidated or... Our bit is to give them a signal. Sure. And you can't communicate a signal if you're already on bottom. I, I agree, I agree. And, and, and a horse has to have a, a re release, relief point. I have a real big diameter mouthpiece snaffle. And I have given some of them to snaffle bit for dirty trainers. Yeah. Put this old big one in and leave it down a little bit. Yes, yeah. And they've, everyone has come back and said, I couldn't believe how they relaxed with that bit. Sure. Uh, with the D snaffle, it originated from a cavalry bit that Don Dodge, they used to have a D with, with the, top and bottom bars right. on them. For a, like a driving bit. Yes, sure, and and so he cut it off, he had them cut off, and Greg Darnell started first making those. The Don Dodge snaffle. snaffle. Yes, yes. And the D gives a little bigger signal? The D gives the whole face. It'll, right. it'll pull this way. The ring is after a horse has been in a snaffle for me for a while. A lot of people like the ring, Personally, I like the D to get a horse started in because you got more, more pull. signal. You got more signal, that's correct. Sam, we've talked about the snaffle in a horse's mouth. Where do you put a shank bit? Some bits, uh, people get the big, get well, my horse isn't light, so let's put a bigger one on. And uh, I've been guilty of the same thing. But I believe if a person when they're having trouble with a horse, you got to have something that you can go back to yes. that you originally got this horse trained with. And sometimes a horse, every horse is different. I don't care if the same people are training them, everyone has a little different deal. So with uh, the mouth on a horse, I believe that uh, uh, you should be able instead of going up to the bigger leverage bit that if you might come down and spend a little more time working him on a cow and sometimes that's a better deal yeah it is it thank is. you yes sir thank you sam we sure appreciate you visiting with us today well sure sure it's just it's just kind of what you grow up with yes, you know sir. and uh i know one thing uh through the past, uh, we didn't break these colts as yearlings. Sometimes no. we got a few older ones, twos, threes, whatever, and uh, we didn't we didn't spend a lot of time groundwork, which I think is better. But we didn't. Uh, we we. Uh, my dad always said, when you get your saddle on him, it's time to step up there. So <laughs> anyway, that's probably why I get around like I do now. So, but anyway. That's, that is great information and we really appreciate it. Okay, I'm glad, Thank you. glad to do it. For more tips and to take a look at some of the country's finest handmade tack, log on to dmtac.com.